Hey Justin, how are you mate? You alright? Yeah, good thanks, are you? Yeah, uh, th this is new for you even, you've been playing uh, over 10 years, a, a new tournament starting in April, what do you, uh, what do you make of it? Yeah, no, obviously uh, under the circumstances that uh, trying to obviously develop something new, um, bringing in, expanding the, the competition, um, hasn't quite gone to plan, but um, I guess it's nice to obviously see something's trying to be done. Yeah, just you touched on that this week. No South African sides. What, what, that was obviously what the cup was designed for to introduce them before next season. Uh, what's your what's your reaction to that? Yeah, I guess it's um, I don't know. I guess with the kind of year it's been, um, it's been a few up and downs with the way the world is working at the minute. So um, it was kind of always an option, I guess, when when we knew it was going to happen. Um, it's a bit of a shame because um, there's such quality opposition that you know that you're testing yourselves against some of the best teams in the world. The trial laws are still here though, uh, Justin. The captain's challenge, uh, as a man it's going to affect. Um, <laughs> what, what, what do you make of it and how have you been preparing for it? Um, yeah, no, I think it's uh, something that's um, exciting and it's, at the end of the day we play in a... Um, we, we play for entertainment, I guess, so it's going to entertain people in some ways, but... Um, you know, I've I watched a bit of the NRL over the last uh, couple of years, and you can see it's worked well over there. Um, and you know, it, it's one of them. I, I don't think it's going to make uh, much of a difference unless it's a an obvious error at the end of the day. And you know, most of the time, it just comes down to what the ref thinks. Um, anyway. How much is it on the skip but how much are you relying on perhaps some of the guys like similar to cricket where they've got this sort of this, the feedback from their teammates about whether something should be challenged or not yeah I think most of it you you know you're concentrating on so much in a in a game I think if a bit of foul play happens one side of the field and you're on the other side of the field it's it is going to be uh, one of your teammates is going to come over to you and just say maybe oh look tips or whatever um, bit of foul plays happened on me, but there type thing. I think it's it's going to work that way, or something that you spot individually as well. But I don't think we can get uh, too bogged down on it, and you know, unless it's clear and obvious, like I said earlier, is probably the only the time you're really going to use it. You'll want to get that first one right, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's all about the first one, I guess. And uh, but uh, yeah, we see be under pressure. No matter whether it's right or wrong, you probably have a bit of stick for it. We've had a few weeks off. How have you reflected on the season that's just sort of finished, or the league and the cup season? And what what are you looking to get out of these next sort of couple of months? Um, yeah, obviously a couple more Welsh derbies, uh, which we we've had a few of. So um, yeah, but like you say, it's it's one of the we're just on a head in the right direction, really, as a as a team and uh, as a group. Um, you know, we've been in some not great places over the last few years so it's it's nice that we just keep progressing going forward and keep improving uh, as a team and, and and as a place really and there's a third lions tour on the horizon justin uh, what are you what are you hoping for that in, on uh, may the 6th oh I look uh, i haven't looked at it at all i never never have in the past and same nothing changes this time round it's uh, it's one of them where you just all I'm looking forward to is playing, uh, getting out there and having a little run around on the weekend, and um, what happens in the future happens. News, well, news this week uh, you've probably known before. Alan Wynn is staying for another season. He keeps going. Yeah, he does. He does. Um, yeah, he's he's a machine, and he have said it so many times before. Uh, the guy's incredible. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's just running around even today and. In the way he's running around like a like a madman, so um, yeah, he's he's just never slowing down. Thanks, Justin. Good luck on the weekend, man. Cheers. Justin, it's Alex here. You okay? All right, okay. You think you'll be going that strong at 35, or not sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, I don't, don't, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not not counting my chickens to be fair, but um, no, I think the way he's going, he'd be going till he's 45 to be fair to him. So um, yeah, he's doing all right. Whenever we talk to Alan Wynn with Wales, which is pretty much the only time, he always seems to speak about how much he misses playing for the Ospreys, which I guess he doesn't get to do that much. Um, do you sense a real desire for him to, to get out there in the black colours the next couple of weeks? Yeah, of course. Um, Any time, uh, you know, I'll even like, it's even though I guess like every day in training that um, he doesn't miss a training session, it's, it's crazy for someone. You know he looks after himself so well um, that he, he doesn't even want to miss a 
a single training session. Um, you know, most people when they get on a bit, they, they they miss the odd one. But with him, he's he's doing every single session, um, and every any opportunity he gets to put the the jersey on, he, he loves it. And like you see, he wears it with pride. Um, and and you know, and, and a lot of us and most of us will you know anyone from the region. You you have a bit of a buzz about it, and yeah, um, it does mean a lot. Can I just ask you something related to the Lions? Steve Tanding, a uh, guy you obviously know very well. Um, yeah. What's he going to bring to that Lions environment? What's he like as a coach? Ah, he's just, uh, yeah, he's obviously just a great bloke uh, to start. Um, yeah, I was lucky enough when I uh, first come through working with Steve and yeah, just some of the things he is man management and just the way he talks to you is, uh, is, is a big part. And you can see with, um, you know, his. What he likes in his defensive is uh, is is a bit of everything as well. So um, no, he, he's like I said, he's a great bloke, and he, the way he talks to you and the way he gets boys going, and you could see that with Scotland, the way they defended the ball um, was pretty pretty uh, good as well. Right, thanks for your time. Cheers. Hi, Justin. Matt. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I just want to cast your mind back. You, you touched on it there. The region has been through some tough times in the last few seasons. Um, Last year, won two games in the league. This year, won one eight. Um, things, you know, very much looking on the up uh, at the region now. What, what do you think um, have been the keys to that sort of turnaround in form for the region? Yeah, no, obviously it's just uh, the direction that we're going in, basically, and um, everyone's pulling in the same way. And um, it's a lot. Of, to be fair, it's a lot of hard work done um, above us, basically, and um, yeah, and everyone's. Uh, on the on the train basically probably in the same way and and uh wanting that way to go. Um, you know, Toby's come in and had his, his say and he, he's worked hard and he wants everyone else to work hard with him and you know it takes um you know a lot of hard work to to, to be a good rugby team and, and we've shown that in the in this season. What have you made of Toby's influence and you can cause you can almost sort of pinpoint his arrival as, as the time when things started to turn around you know he seems to have been able to get his point across and, and like you said get everyone on board so what have you made of him in the last year yeah like I said earlier really with uh, the direction of what he wants and then um, just just basically uh, you know just what it comes down to um, the hard work side of it and um, rugby we think it's all about the ball but um, a lot of it is without it so you know, he's just pointing us in the right direction, and it, um, it's up to us then to to keep moving it in the right way. Has he changed any anything in the sort of day-to-day -day running compared to how things used to be? Has he brought in any sort of things outside of training to to bring the squad closer? It's, you know, what what sort of things has he changed in that sense? Yeah, he's, he's different in, in many ways. Really, um, every coach is different. He he likes to do different things. The way the schedule is of the week. Um, when we train, when we don't train, um, or how we train, in which order, um, all, all the stuff uh, is probably pretty different to, to what we've had in the past. Um, and yeah, just the way we do meetings, you name it, a lot of it's totally different to be fair. And no, it's, it's been good. And um, yeah, we, like we say, we're, we're heading in the right direction. We've got a lot of work to do um, to be anywhere near where we want to be. So um, yeah, we're getting there slowly. Just finally, where, where do you see that growth in the region now? Then, obviously, there was a few youngsters being signed ahead of next season. Um, you know, where do you see the region going, and um, you know, how much further do you want to be climbing up the table next year? Yeah, obviously, like, uh, we touched it earlier, but you know, you, we do play the game to to win trophies, um, and it's been a long time since the Ospreys have been in contention for it. But yeah, it's, that's that's the main aim is. To get back to those glory days and be winning trophies and you know being successful.